Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to add restaurant in Google Maps. The first thing you want to do is Google Google Maps and you're going to simply select the first option. Then you're going to go over to the top left hand corner and tap on the three dashes. After selecting the three dashes, you're going to tap on add your business. Once you have selected add your business, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you can add in your restaurant name. So for example, I'll just type in simple restaurant right here. So let's do that real quick. You can see that that name is already taken. So for example, I'll just type in simple business for example sake. After you have done that, you can select the business category. So for example, I'll type in restaurant. Then we'll tap on next. After you have selected next, do you want to add a location customers can visit? You're going to tap on yes, then select next. From here, you can enter in your business address. So you want to fill out this information so you can select the country and region. Select the street address right here. So let me fill in a street address for example and also select a parish. So let me do that real quick, then we can continue with the tutorial. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you can see a few suggestions. So probably you will see your business name pop up. If it is none of these suggested businesses, you're going to tap on none of these. Then tap on next once more. Then from here, you can choose your specific location. So you can select the specific location on the map layout right here. After you're finished, you're going to tap on next. Then do you provide deliveries or home and office visit? You can select yes or no. So I'm going to be selecting yes for this example since this is a restaurant example. More than likely you provide deliveries. Then you're going to tap on next. Add the areas you serve. So for example sake, you can select the region that you serve in. So I'll do that real quick. On the other page, you can put in your company's phone number and also website if you have a business website. Once you have done that, you'll tap on next. Then from here, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, just give it a few seconds to load up. To start the verification process, you want to ensure that you have entered in the number right here. But for this example, I'll just tap on verify later. After selecting verify later, you can fill in your opening and closing hours. So for example sake, let's say our business is open five days per week. So we open shop from Monday at let's say for example 7 a.m. So we'll select 7 a.m. right there and we close shop by 3 p.m. So I'll select 3 p.m. right here. After you have done that, you can tap on add hours. And you can continue and you can select the different days and you can continue adding the same opening and closing hours for those days coming down. Once you have finished, you'll tap on next. So let me fill these in real quick. So I'll just select random times. So let me do that. After you have added it in, you can see right here, add dining modes. So let your customers know the ways that they can enjoy what you serve. So will they be able to dine in? You can select yes or no. Will you be offering takeout? You'll also be offering curbside pickups? Yes or no? drive through option? No. Delivery? Yes. No contact delivery? Yes or no? You can select that right there. Once you're finished, you'll tap on next. After you have done that, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you can add in a quick business description which you'll be able to allow your customers to get a better understanding of your business and the type of services you offer. You can also add photographs of your menu or so on and you can see they have provided different examples and a good platform to create a restaurant menu on for completely free is Canva. So you could create a Canva account and from there you could create a restaurant menu. In fact, if you were to search through my channel, you can see that I've recently done a video. I may leave the link in the description. 
showing you how to create a restaurant menu using Canva as a beginner. Once you have uploaded your menu or the different photographs showing some meals or so on, you can tap on next. Then from here you'll see the option add photos of your dishes. This is where you'll be able to add those photos. Then you'll tap on next. Then you can see advertising minutes. If you would like to use Google ads to advertise, you could tap on get started. But for now, I'll tap on skip. Then you will be provided with the option to get a custom domain name for your business and custom email address. If it is a case that you're going to be doing a lot of businesses online, I would definitely recommend that you use this option. So you'll be provided with a custom URL as you can see right there. But for now, we'll tap on skip. Then you can see your edits will be visible once you are verified. And you're just going to tap on continue. And then from there, you'll wait it out until they have reached back out with you, back out to you, better yet, and they'll verify your business. And once they have verified your business, you'll realize that your business is now listed on Google Maps. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.